Hey everyone, 365 Ninja here. I've got another Word 2013 or Word 2016 tip for you today. I'll also show you a version of this tip in Word Online. So starting in Word 2013 here, I want to show you how to insert symbols or special characters into your text of your document. So I'm going to put my cursor where I want to insert the special character and go to my Insert tab. And then here in the Symbol section, click the Symbol drop-down menu and select more symbols. Unless you see the symbol you'd like to add here on the screen, you can simply add it that way. But I'm gonna go ahead and click more symbols. And now I have a really extensive menu of symbols that I can scroll through and find the symbol that I'd like. You can also change the font to another font that you are using. Some fonts actually have more extensive libraries of symbols than others. I might select a letter from another alphabet. I can also switch to special characters here and you can see some characters like the copyright symbol, a paragraph mark, and so on. So once I've inserted the symbol I want, I click close. Now let's switch over to Word Online. Now in Word Online, similar to a lot of other features, we have the ability to insert symbols, but we just have a much lighter version of it. So you'll go through the same process, select the, or put your cursor in the spot you want your symbol to be in, go to the insert tab, and click the drop down menu next to symbol. Now you have a very similar predefined menu of symbols here, but you don't have the option to select more. So you can select your symbol from this menu. Now I did a little testing and I found that I can copy and paste symbols from Word 2013 or 2016 into Word Online. You might actually be able to do this by copying and pasting from the web. So your mileage may vary on this type of activity, but let me show you if I paste in a symbol that did not appear on this menu here, we're still able to see it in the document. So a small workaround and hopefully the symbol menu will be expanded in Word Online in time in future updates. Hope this tip helped. For more tips and tricks like this one in Office 365, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.